Conveying systems transport material from storage to where it's needed. If a conveying point signals material requirement, the hopper load is fed. The signal is usually triggered by a sensor, which sends a signal when the material level sinks below a minimum value. But how does the control know how much material is required? The conveyed amount of material can be determined using two different methods. Either one can specify a fixed conveying time or a fill level sensor is built into the hopper loader. These are referred to as time conveying and sensor conveying respectively. For time conveying, every hopper loader in the conveying system is assigned a specific conveying time. If requirement is signaled, each hopper loader is fed with material for this time. The set value must be determined during initial operation. For sensor conveying, the fill level sensor in the hopper loader determines how long material is conveyed for. Only once the material fill level has been reached does conveying stop. For both methods, it's important to consider whether so-called purging of the conveying line is necessary after conveying. This is why it's important, regardless whether for sensor or time conveying, to take into consideration when setting the conveying level that after the actual conveying time, the amount of purged material must still have space in the hopper loader, because overfilling can result in problems. Overfilling means that the hopper loader's non-return flap can no longer close, and this hopper loader would then become a leak source for other conveying processes on the same material line. Mo needs to refill the wiper fluid in his car. His twin brother helps him. He has a hose pipe from the first floor down to Mo's watering can. His brother turns on the water at the top and Mo keeps an eye on the fill level below. Once the watering can is full, Mo shouts, stop. His brother immediately turns off the water. But the watering can overflows anyway because there was still water in the hose pipe. There is also a mixed variation of time and sensor conveying. Time monitored sensor conveying. This means the preset sensor monitoring time is usually chosen so the normal conveying time reaches the sensor. Only when the sensor level is not reached in this time does the time monitoring sound an alarm and the operator is made aware of an error. The criteria to determine whether time, sensor or time monitored sensor conveying should be used are many. Type of material, conveying distance, conveying height and frequency of material changes all play a role.